Hi everyone, welcome to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard. Today we're going to be checking out the Savage B22M FV. This is a bull barrel 22 Magnum, redesigned polymer stock on it. They've done away with the stake magazine and instead went with a rotary style magazine that they have in their other B series rifles. That kind of eliminates the snag point you might have on the bottom here if you're going through the woods, carrying it over your shoulder. Nice smooth design underneath there. I put a Bushnell 4 to 12 scope on here. We're going to see if we can get it sighted in today. I got the old Caldwell uh, plastic sled out here, and I got a target set up about 50 yards away. And we're going to do a little uh, adjusting on it to get it zeroed in at 50 yards. All right, by setting it up in the stand here, I'll be able to zero it in on my target and make sure that I'm, I'm good and centered on it, be able to take my first shot, and then see where I hit and be able to adjust it. I can adjust the elevation on it up and down side to side I just got to move the whole thing around on the bench and uh, we'll see if we can get it right in there all right let's get it dialed in looks to me like I'm about an inch high and an inch to the right now the best way to do this is put your crosshairs right back on the center of your target adjust your turrets on your scope till they move over right exactly where you hit you should be able to sight one in in two shots we'll try it again all right we'll try it one more time Looks like we could go a click or two to the left. Elevation looks good. Let's go check that out. All right, since my little camera went dead and I couldn't set it up here, I didn't charge my batteries. Uh, my first shot, my second shot, my third shot, fourth shot, and my fifth shot. Not too bad, a little bit of a breeze. You can see the target moving around a little bit. Uh, wind's coming almost directly behind me and from left to right a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call that sighted in. Uh, put my caps back on there and I know where it's at at 50 yards. Um, 100 yards is probably gonna drop a little bit more. Um, good varmint rifle, 22 Magnum. I put some 30 grain Hornady uh, ballistic tips in there. And uh, that ought to dispatch some small varmints uh, fairly well. I think I'll play around with a little bit more. I set up two targets. I might as well shoot them both. There's 10 rounds. Magazine empty, rotary style. Show you how to load that. All right, loading a rotary style magazine is a little trickier. You actually have to push in and over a little bit. That gets little veins in there to turn over to the side there. Push it to the down and to the side. Your next round goes right in there. A little bit of practice. They're actually, they're pretty, uh, pretty decent little magazines to load. I have a couple different rifles with these in there. The uh, 17B mag is the same way. Um, rotary style magazine, but they just uh, push in, push over, keep going. There you have it. It's ready to go again. Got the 100 yard steel target up here. Let's see if we can't ring it a couple times.
not much more to say about it. Good quality Savage product again. Uh, 22 inch heavy barrel, 22 Magnum is the caliber. I put a Bushnell 4 to 12 scope on it. I took off another rifle. Added the little uh, Caldwell, I believe it's a 6 to 9 inch uh, bipod on it. And a handy little rifle for taking care of some varmints out there. Uh, maybe your occasional coyote or something. If you got a farm like I do, you can probably hear the chickens in the background. And every now and then there's threats to them. Coyotes come around out here and this is a good option to take care of them.